Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are doing another installment of the weekly meta breakdown where we look at the top performing decks on the MTG Arena ladder. Uh, this particular video will be for the traditional standard best of three format, best of one videos up. Uh, we'll get through all the other formats uh, throughout the week and we do these weekly looking at the top performing decks as tracked by Untapped GG, companion tool that runs alongside Arena Client. Uh, aggregates a whole bunch of data, a whole bunch of free useful tools for you to use like uh, win rate trackers, deck collection, in-game overlays, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, link is in the video description down below. I'll paste all these deck lists into the video description here on YouTube so you can easily import them into your arena client. And as we jump in, as always, if you can, i uh, greatly appreciate it if you could drop a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. All are free and easy ways to help out the channel, trick YouTube and the algorithm, and make me uh, better in the eyes of the YouTube AI. Uh, but we're jumping in, standard best of three, October 13th to the 16th. Smaller uh, volume of days because of the Meat Hook Massacre ban. So these are the first deck lists we're getting uh, after the weekend of Meat Hookless standard. Uh, we have 15,000 matches that were played. Remember, this is matches, not games. Matches could be two to three games. So somewhere between 30,000 and 45,000 individual games of Magic were played. Platinum to Mythic rank. The best performing deck of the week is Esper Midrange. Uh, and this is a deck that's just got a bunch of powerful cards in there. So Rafine is kind of the engine of the deck. It's mainly a black-white deck with Rafine and Denik and, make, and like counter spells. Uh, so you have Rafine that kind of helps smooth out your draws, gets things really big. Wedding announcement in there for tokens, card advantage, all that. Wandering Emperor, AO, like just let's take all the best cards, throw them in a deck. Uh, Destroy Evil, very powerful in the format. Denik, Life Linker can get bigger with like Rafine. Uh, kind of punish graveyards in a way. Uh, cut down, make Destroy Evil, Infernal Grasp as interaction. Plaza Heroes in this deck, a number of legendaries that can be used with the indestructible as well really good mana kind of mixed into there your sideboard you have more targeted removal you have hand hate just more counters in the mid-range mirrors card advantage siphon insight in these mid-range mirrors if like they're a liliana deck or stuff like that games are going long steal their good cards if your opponent has very little win conditions steal them that way uh, kaido is very good in like these mid-range decks just getting you card advantage, especially if you could drop it early on the play. And then Farewell as a general catch-all removal spell. We have Mardu Angels as the next deck, 65% win rate. So this is a deck where we got arguably the two best cards in Standard beyond like Rafine, Fable the Mirror Breaker, and Wedding Announcement are kind of highlighting this deck. This is a black-white deck uh, splashing for Fable the Mirror Breaker. Uh, it's pretty much the only card in black, sorry, in red. Uh, and then the kicker cost of Archangel of Wrath uh, mixed in there. But you got Angel kind of sub theme. You got Giada to power up, Inspiring Overseer, Archangel, Sarah Paragon to rebuy stuff, Liaza and Sanctuary Warden on the top end, uh, Faithful Absence, Infernal Grasp, Soul Transfer as catch all removal spells in here as well. Um, honestly, with like Soul Transfer, it might just be better as like extra copies of Destroy Evil. Um, just being able to hit like opponents wedding announcements and rafines and stuff like that uh, in the sideboard cut down destroy evil fateful absence general removal right of oblivion for kind of sack effects catch all farewell another soul transfer uh, card advantage engines and bank buster and pilfer as hand hate uh, there's a lot of similarities you'll notice between these two decks but blue you get some additional kind of value engines going in that sense I actually wouldn't mind given the amount of, I guess there's, yeah, there's nine sources. Even like on Nixlis for these grindy matchups, the Cesper deck has a hard time generally dealing with a resolved Planeswalker. Um, so you could kind of attack them on that angle there. Uh, and then sacking some of these angels you, between like Lieza or Sarah Paragon, you get some value out of it that way. I wouldn't mind seeing up Nixlis in the side of these. Uh, we then go to Rakdos mid-range. So this is kind of the evolution of Mono Black that we see. And really by going Rakdos, you get access to Fable the Mirror Breaker and Blood Tithe Harvester in the main. Otherwise, you're going to see a lot of the common cards. Uh, Infernal Grass, Bank Buster, Underdog, Liliana, all that. Uh, Duress in the main here. If you're playing best of three, Duress is a fine main board card. If you're playing this particular deck and you just want to port it to best of one, play more removal. Um, the best of one format is very just like, here's 24 plus creatures. 
So duress is probably going to be a dead card more than it often. Uh, in the sideboard, we got Junji's, which is very good in these mid rangey mirrors. Burn down the house of sweepers. Soren is card advantage. A bunch of removal and soul transfer cut down the braid. Uh, some card advantage, graveyard hate, and Obnixis for the grindy matchups as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. A lot of like there's a couple other decks that we'll see in best of three right now, but they all have kind of like suboptimal win rates. Uh, Teamer control 46%, Selesnia 43%. And then some decks like Gruul that just haven't had the population. Uh, what is happening right now, and I'll, I'll link it because the tournament's not over yet, uh, but uh, Hollywood Pizza, great content creator, uh, is hosting a tournament today uh, for Standard. Uh, there are 84 players playing in it. Uh, there's a number of deck lists here that you can see. Grixis, Mono Blue, Bant, Mono White Control, Jund, a whole bunch of deck lists. I'll link this page. You can take a look at all these deck lists and download them and kind of get going. If you are interested in playing on MTG Arena tournaments next weekend on Sunday, it's going to be a slice of Explore. Uh, so Explore best of three, and it's a free tournament, cash prizes in it. I think I don't want to quote miss incorrectly. Uh, 120, there's a lot of good prizes, cash and play mats and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm actually commentating, oh, right here, $250 cash prizes. I'm commentating the top eight of the Explorer tournament, so uh, it'll be on Hollywood Pizza's Twitch channel. Uh, also, will be replay on his YouTube afterwards. Uh, but if you're interested in playing, if you want to see some competitive Explorer content, if you want to just come see me talk magic for a number of rounds, uh, definitely check that out as well. And I can link that tournament in the comments. But a lot of good deck lists here from Melee. This is a big tournament, almost 100 people. Um, so you can see a whole bunch of deck lists and stuff like that. You can actually take a look at number of decks. Uh, so Esper, Grixis, Rakdos. So Esper, Grixis, most popular um, in terms of win rates. Uh, so Mono White Control 4-1 is the only entry. Rakdos, 70%. Uh, Esper Agro, decent, that's uh, probably just kind of coming in, Mono White, decent. So you can kind of see the win rates here too. Uh, Grixis not doing too great. Uh, then we go to the kind of the bad ratings at the bottom uh, and kind of see from there. But you can kind of play around with it. Uh, these are smaller sample size for some of the one-off decks, but uh, you can see all kind of the win rates, stuff like that, everything going in, and you can download a bunch of these decks. So in any case, we'll wrap this up. If you're looking for the other formats, uh, we'll get more data. Best of three usually takes longer to aggregate. For best of one, I had like almost 10 decks. For best of three, it's usually three to five, especially the first weekend. Um, but take a look there, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great one, and stay safe out there.